Welcome to the Control M Workload Automation Support videos. This video will demonstrate how to disable right now option for a specific group of users. Um, the right now option makes it possible to start executing a job uh, immediately even if all the requirements have not been met. Um, however, in some production environments, there may be a need to disable that operation because if used by mistake, the outcome could be a wrong scheduling flow which might negatively impact a business. Next, we will demonstrate how to disable this uh, option from the monitoring domain. Uh, for this demo, I've defined two jobs which are exactly the same and inserted a time limit. Um, and as you can see, both jobs are great because they're waiting for that time window to elapse. If we expand the available options for the job, clicking on the right button, we can see that the run option is bold, meaning it can be used. And it has three, two sub parameters, skip job and select bypass. If we disable the run now option, these two parameters, skip job and select bypass, will also be auto automatically disabled. Now, let's go ahead and press the run now for the first job to check that um, that user is really unable to run the job. And now we will disable the run now option for this specific user. To do that, we switch to the CCM or the Control Lab Configuration Manager. From the CCM, select security and then authorization. And please ensure that this procedure is performed with um, an admin user like EM user from the configuration manager GUI. The user we are using in the monitoring domain is demo2 and is associated with demo1 group. The operation enabled to users belonging to this group when operating in monitoring domain can be found under active tab and the operations are grouped in three subgroups the browse control and update the option that uh, enabled right now is called bypass and that is under the control subgroup now let's go ahead and disable it and save the group definition So we will just go ahead and save that. And then check the, on the second job to see if we still have the run now option active. Please remember though that uh, before that happens, you have to log out and log back in for the changes to, to take place. So let's just uh, log back in the user demo2 where the user that we use to to make these changes remember i mentioned uh, that that user has to have the admin right so now we are back in let's check the second job and see if the run now option is still active if you right click on that we can see that the run now option is now grayed out 
meaning it has been deactivated and this user can no longer run jobs uh, immediately. Uh, thank you for watching. For more of these videos, please vis visit our YouTube channel.